Hi, I'm Matt, a trading executive at Runners Need, and I'm here today to review the Coros Pace 2 watch. So for the last seven to eight weeks, I've had the Coros Pace 2, and I've been putting it through its paces for all that time. I've done a range of activities from running to hiking to being in the gym. Uh, I've even done a couple of races with it. I think I'm in a, a good position to let you know a few of the features. The Pace 2 is extremely lightweight. It's also got an integrated heart rate monitor which makes it the perfect thing to take with you on a, on a race and also some more intense training. Um, but it also has features that mean it's good for trail running, uh, especially up in the mountains. So it's quite a sleek design. I've had no issues with, with putting it up and over sleeves um, for some of the colder runs. It's also got a fully adjustable strap, which has been really useful. In terms of setup, um, when you receive the watch, the best thing to do is download the Coros app. You can then start to enter your metrics in there. So it could be height, weight, age, things that will help calculate your expected uh, performance. There's a handy QR code that you can scan to get you straight into there, get the app downloaded, and then once you've done that, filled in your preferences, you're, you're ready to go. It's a pretty quick system. I've had watches in the past where you've had to go through all the menus on the watch with the buttons, but this one, because you can do it on a phone, it's so much more user-friendly. As well as setting up your um, metrics, you can also set up your heart rate goals and a range of thresholds. So I know that's really useful for, for some people's training. Me, myself, I like to just go out there and uh, see what happens most of the time. But um, you can also set up your own uh, workout plans and uh, yeah, look at your friends as well on, on the community pages and uh, copy their workouts. Uh, to form your own. Yeah, some people would really enjoy finding someone similar in ability and, and seeing what they're up to in terms of training and applying that to their own training. I think for myself, I like to set my own training plan, so I haven't used this feature quite as much, but it's still a valuable thing. I think it's important to say that, of course, it links to Strava. We all know that, that Strava is, is one of the biggest platforms for recording uh, and sharing your activities. So it's, once you've completed an activity, it does sync with the app and it, it shows on, on Strava as you'd expect. So while I've predominantly used the Pace 2 for running, there are actually other activity modes. So it'll record your activity in the gym, go for a walk, going swimming, going cycling. There's, there's loads of options there. I know a common frustration with runners is if you're waiting too long to find your satellites. That's not an issue with this. I step out my door and it usually buzzes before I'm ready to go. Once you've chosen your activity, it will automatically search for the satellite and give you a little buzz when it's ready. Then you just press start and you're good to go. So this watch is primarily focused on pace and it has a big visual display of your pace while you're running. This is really handy. I mean, I used this in the Royal Park South Marathon and I was able to quickly flick up and have a look at my uh, pace and then put it back down without too much trouble. The thing it doesn't have is mapping. So if you're looking to go on a really long trail and have some guidance on where you're going, I, I wouldn't go for this one. Uh, it does come with a compass and a barometer, so there are some useful features there as well. So the battery life of the Pace 2 is really impressive. I've gone two to three weeks without charging it, and that's that's exercising regularly as well. It's, it's certainly uh, packs a lot into such a small watch. A cool feature of the watch is if you're running in the dark and you want to have a look at your pace, you can actually move the watch face towards your face and it will illuminate. And then as soon as you move your arm back down, it actually turns off. So in terms of usability, uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to at first. Um, I know I had the, the lock screen. I decided to turn off just because it made it easier for me to, to scroll through um, during and after activities. This stops you accidentally deleting your run, which is actually something I've done in the past. So happy days. Once you've finished uh, running and your watch is, it needs to charge, I've actually found that I haven't had to charge it very often. And when, it, when I do, it charges really quickly, usually within an hour. I think every runner's had a time where they've woken up and forgotten to charge their watch for their morning run. The, the advantage of the, the quick charging is you could obviously charge it and not have to wait too long before you step out the door. So the other day I was sat in the office, I had a little buzz on the watch. It told me it was ready for an update. So I just took my phone out, loaded up the app, updated the watch um, and it didn't take too long at all. You'll see the Pace 2 described as a good entry level watch, but I think it's actually much more than that. And the features you get are a very high level that you'd expect to be on a more premium a price point. So I'd say it's very good value. I think my favorite feature is the race predictor, which based on your current training levels uh, and tiredness will tell you how quick you would, would run in a race. In the half marathon I did, my race predicted time is actually two minutes quicker than I did. That's taken into account doing the event. So I think it's pretty accurate. The pace two links to your phone. So you can be notified of any incoming calls or text, etc. 
You can obviously turn this feature off as well if you would like to. It doesn't have downloadable music or an NFC chip, so you are unable to make payments with this watch. So there are slightly less technical features than, than some smartwatches now. That doesn't matter because this watch is for the, for the purists and those who want to hit their PBs and, and push their boundaries. So I'm just going to show you some of the great features in the app that I've been utilizing over the last uh, seven to eight weeks now. So you just open it up. First thing you get is your, your stats for the day. Um, so it'll tell you how many steps you've done, how many calories you've burned, what your exercise time has been. For me, that's one minute today. So that's something I need to change later on. What my average heart rate's been, how much sleep I got. So it's, it's all your core stats that you, you'd want to know. There's other sections along the bottom there. So you can move on to all activities. So it will show everything you've done. That obviously comes with different stats, how many steps you've done or how, how long you've run for, depending on what your activity is, it will give you different markers there. Moving on to the next point, it creates a whole profile for you. What my VO2 max is, my resting heart rate is, threshold pace, race predictions, workouts that, that I should do. You can create your own workouts and build in there and then when you do your exercise for the day, you will get a, a buzz whether you've reached your target or not. So you can actually use this as your coach in that respect, where you can set yourself ongoing targets. It records your, your quickest times over various distances and what your fatigue level is. So that's really useful when you're trying to overload your training. A lot of intense workouts, it will recommend you some rest. You move on to your device. So this is the Pace 2 where I've added it there. On here, you can see activity data, training plans, notifications, and, and, and more, including choosing what watch face you would like to be displayed, which is quite a, quite a cool feature. So I've just, I'm just updating the watch face. I've already done that before, but this one looks a bit more colorful, so this would be interesting. Look at that, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I like it. Yeah, that's a bit better than just like the time. Yeah. 